Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. I'm coming at you from Koreatown once again to continue my Korean barbecue food tour all around Los Angeles covering 10 of the best a la carte and all you can eat Korean barbecue spots in LA. So this is the series you definitely need to check out. And today I'm at another all you can eat spot in Los Angeles. This is actually probably the most expensive all you can eat Korean barbecue in Los Angeles, which is good in many ways because that means the meat is going to be so awesome. I'm at this place called Brothers Barbecue on 6th Street, which is a hidden gem in Los Angeles because some people say this might actually be the best Korean barbecue all you can eat in LA. I'm going to find that out in just a bit, but they're known for their really traditional and very high quality meats which is really good for all you can eat because that's what I'm all about for all you can eat experiences. So if you guys want to see what one of the best Korean barbecue restaurants in LA looks like especially in the all you can eat category then you've come to the right episode. Stick all the way to the end so that you can see this amazing all you can eat barbecue feast that I'm about to have. And also if you're new to this channel take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I put out these food videos weekly that you just don't want to miss out on especially now that I'm doing Korean barbecue. So go ahead smash that button right now and I am going to go in and I am going to get me some of that barbecue right now. So Brothers Barbecue has been here for about six years right now and you'll notice when you come in that it's a fairly traditional looking Korean barbecue restaurant but I heard that they have a huge fan base, it's very popular, their meats are great and what's also very cool is that they house make their cold noodles, their naengmyeon, so it's fresh and it's delicious. It's one of the things I definitely need to get here at this restaurant and it comes with the all you can eat experience, cold noodles, high quality meat, fresh marinade here, what more can you ask for? All right, well, let's check out their menu, see what they got here. Their barbecue menu, of course, comes in different tiers. The silver one, as of today, is $39.99 a person. Look how many choices you get. So $39.99 is a very typical price for a decent all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue experience. But then, they do have the upper levels, like the gold, which is $54.99, and they have the diamond, which is $69.99. I'm gonna be adventurous, and I'm gonna go with the diamond today. And you can also get it a la carte as well if you don't want to go with the all-you-can-eat experience, but you just kind of want to get some individual meats on the menu, they got it here. And also to let you know that they do have happy hour from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Mondays through Fridays. So you get anywhere, I guess, from 10 to $5 off per tier. So letting you guys know that those are the best times to come in for that. Man, I am excited because the food just came out right now. Let's see what we got for round number one. This is the brisket at the bottom or the chadol on the menu. This is something I always like to get as a starter. It's thin, it's light, it's delicious. And then we got the bottom sirloin steak, which is part of the diamond menu. Yes, definitely. Got to go with the top items since you're paying big money here. And also the marinated short ribs or the carby. Definitely the one you got to get here at the barbecue restaurant. So here we go with the first one, brisket on the grill. So good to hear that sizzling once again. It is the most soothing, beautiful sound. Barbecuing meats. Wow, I notice that there's quite a lot on there. And I do want to mention that they have other things on the menu too, like these soups, which they're most famous for, the carby tang, or the short rib beef soup. This thing is huge and it is very hot. You see that big piece of bone in there? That is so cool. So yeah, just give this a nice turnaround, and then within maybe 30 more seconds, I think it should be done. Okay, some mushroom cutting action going on as well. These oyster mushrooms always good, go very good with the barbecue. Pineapple is kind of a new experience for me, but it might work well together. It's so shredded. It almost looks like the beef that they use in the Yoshinoya beef bowls. Okay, so I'm gonna try it with this sauce the sweet soy sauce with the wasabi mixed into it. Mm. That's delicious. Dude, what I like about the beef brisket is it's 
always very soft. Since it's very thin, it feels so tender and kind of fluffy in your mouth. And when you cook it just about right, it gets kind of crispy on the edges too. That's the way you want your beef brisket. There's chives in here, the soup itself, and this big piece of beef rib. Man, I've never seen anything like this before. I don't think I've had carby tongue with this actual whole rib inside of it. It is, wow. Well, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me just try the soup first. I don't wanna go heavy just about yet. Oh, that soup is good. Wow. It's so light, but it tastes so, how do you say? It has a good beef flavor to it. Beef flavored, it's nice and hot. It is slightly oily as well because of the beef fat that's cooked into the soup. But it's good though because that oil adds the flavor to this, this broth. I don't know about you guys, but from my view right now, this looks incredible. I wish you guys were here with me watching this fire burning that meat from underneath, this delicious high quality steak. Wow, that is so amazing. It's, it's fatty, it's marbly, it's oily, it's high quality. Wow, I'm impressed so far. Okay, what about with the sweet soy sauce dip? Mmm. This is amazing. Like I said, marbly has good oil content inside of it and it's pretty tender too. Definitely not tough meat, which is what you don't want in a barbecue experience. Delicious tender steak. Wow. You know what? This this might actually be the best steak I've had so far in an all you can eat barbecue restaurant. So before we put the marinated short ribs on, cutting off the bone cuz most of the customers don't really care much for the bone. So that's what he's doing, shortening it and then it's going to go on. So that high heat gives it a little bit of that char, which is good. Authentic barbecue texture. Don't you just love the flames? It looks like something out of a commercial, doesn't it? I'm so surprised. Is this an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurant? The meat is so good. Like this carby is very tender. It's tender, it's well marinated. Oh, man, it's like a pillow that's inside of your mouth. Oh, that was pretty amazing. It's very tender and juicy, moist. Wow. I don't know what to say. Whenever I go to all-you-can-eat barbecue restaurants, I don't usually like to order the steak because it's always so tough. But here, it's a completely different story. This ribeye steak is really top-notch. Wow. I, don't, I didn't even think I could find this in an all-you-can-eat barbecue restaurant. Yeah, definitely, you gotta go with the diamond. The diamond where you can get all this amazing selections. Of course, you're gonna pay more, but it's so worth it because the meat is so high quality. It tastes just like something from an a la carte barbecue restaurant. Then the last one, the pork ribs. Yes, it is already sizzling. And since this is pork and it's a little bit on the thicker side, you're gonna wanna have to cut, cook this just a little bit more. Mm. Oh man, this is probably the best pork ribs I've had so far in a Korean barbecue restaurant. No kidding. It's as tender as the beef. That is crazy. I didn't expect that. Yikes. And I'm going to end off the meal with the cold buckwheat noodles and naengmyeon. And like I said, they house make this, which means you got to get it. The cold buckwheat noodles here in this very cold broth. And it's it's, it's very cold. Some restaurants, they put ice in it, just like this one. And it comes with some mustard sauce, 
on the side, put a little bit of that and also some vinegar. Give it a little bit of that sour tanginess to it. You know what I'm saying? That is rocking. I can tell. It's fresh. It has a good chewiness to it. And the broth is pretty good, especially if you add in the vinegar and the mustard. Makes it, uh, gives it that right amount of sourness to it. It's cold and it's refreshing. And just to give you a tip, guys, that if you also take pieces of the meat, it goes so good with the, with the cold noodles. In fact, some lunch combos, you can get the noodles and you can get a side of meat and you eat it together. It's a complete meal. It tastes fabulous. Oh yeah. Perfect combination. Just the noodles itself is great, but when you combine it with the barbecue meat, it completes it. I, mean, I can honestly say, this has been such a fantastic eating experience. I'm really speechless right now because with a lot of Korean barbecue, all you can eat places, I don't really have the highest view of it because of some of the lower quality meats that I've had, but here at this restaurant, it takes it to a whole new level. Yes, it is expensive, especially go with the diamond tier, but it is so worth it because the meat that they give you is fantastic. Everything from the marinated short ribs to the ribeye and the sirloin, even the pork ribs, it's just all fantastic. And the soups here are great, like the beef soup as well as the cold noodle, buckwheat soup, it's, it's fantastic. It's like you can't go wrong with the food here in this place. And uh, yeah, definitely you gotta take advantage of their happy hour they got going on here. And if you come during lunch, they do have lunch specials that are $15, $16 as well. So if you don't wanna go with the all out barbecue experience, you can get like a noodle and a beef dish and that'll be a really nice complete meal. So yeah, next time you're here in this Koreatown area and you're looking specifically for all you can eat Korean barbecue, come to this place because I can honestly say that this is by far the best, greatest all you can eat Korean barbecue restaurants I've been to in terms of the meat quality and the taste. It just really takes it to another level. So definitely, trust me guys, come to this place if you want all you can eat Korean barbecue. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. If you enjoy what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up. And also comment on the section below because if you've been to this restaurant, I love to hear your thoughts. Tell me what you think about it and if you know of any other great all you can eat spots in Los Angeles and subscribe so that you can get these videos on a weekly basis. Don't miss out on that, guys. Well, I hope you have a rockin' day today, folks, and that you'll try some of this rockin' barbecue at Brothers Barbecue sometime soon. And be sure to also click on the other videos on my screen so that you can see some of the other barbecue and LA food experiences I've had in LA. So I'll see you guys in the next video.